Today we're looking at figure 5.8 on page 102 of your textbook. This figure just gives you two uh, examples of how changes uh, in the marginal damage or changes in the marginal abatement cost can influence the efficient level of emissions. So let's first look at figure A. Um, so initially we had a MAC, a marginal abatement cost curve over here, and a marginal damages curve over here. So we were at MD1 and um, MIC, right? So that means the two intersects over here where we have an efficient level of emissions E star 1. Right, so that's the efficient. Then something changes. Um, in this example, the change could be, for example, that the population, the amount of people in this country increased. Uh, if the amount of people increases, it means there are more people exposed to the pollutant, to the emissions, and this causes damages to increase because damages are calculated according to what influences it has on the population. So if there's a larger population, we'll see an increase in the damages, meaning the marginal damage cost curve will shift up, right? So it, it, this just shifted up to MD2. Now my equilibrium changed as well. And I'm not at E star 1 anymore. I'm now at E star 2. Meaning the cost the, the cost per emission has also increased from W1 uh, W1 to W2. Um, so I see this change in marginal damages due to change in pollution and uh, population, sorry. And this causes a change in the efficient level of emissions. Now let's have a look at the other curve, figure B. B starts with a marginal damage curve over here and a marginal abatement cost curve over here. So we know marginal abatement cost is the cost or rather is influenced by things like technology because technology allows you to maybe clean up the pollutant, the emissions. So for a certain technology, we were at efficient level of emissions at E star 1. Then something happened. In this case, technology improved. And now we can uh, clear up the emissions. Um, so my MIC curve decreased. And now we are at an efficient level of emissions at E star 2. So again, the change in technology made it cheaper to clean up the pollutant, this caused the MIC curve to shift down and this changed the equilibrium. Um, what you have to understand of this graph is maybe just how equilibriums work, how it can shift when there's changes in the economy and um, you should have a basic understanding and be able to draw it 